Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the Fool card over here and this is taking that leap of faith and starting something brand new. Uh, moving away from an old situation and starting a new um, you know, cycle in your life. Uh, maybe things had uh, come to an end uh, and those were all karmic endings and now it's time for you to start off something brand new. This previous relationship that you may have been involved in might have been very, very restrictive and it didn't allow you, uh, you know, to flourish. Um, you can see this is the uh, the devil card and the heart is in, within the cage. So maybe this person was very, very controlling, very, very manipulative. And, um, you know, had you um, bound uh, by, uh, by certain things, you know, um, kept you in check um, and kept you disempowered as well. And this has left you really, you know, feeling upset, uh, feeling anxious, and maybe afraid to make a move right now. And you are waiting for things to change for you as well. This is the Nine of Swords. So still, you know, feeling very uh, anxious, um, maybe feeling also a bit emotional as well, and uh, expecting the worst case scenario if you, if you try to make, to make a move. Um, so you are, um, you know, stuck in the fears of that, uh, you know, if you get into a new relationship, maybe it will happen again. Uh, and it's also a very stressful place to be in. You are very stressed out by that. Now, in the past, um, you've got that six of rods over here. So you have taken a, a, stand, a stand. Uh, you are moving forward. This is the boat, and you can see the light coming in. So you are being guided towards getting away from a difficult situation. With that six of rods, it's coming through, um, getting over the five of rods card, uh, which is about struggles and you know power struggles and having lots of arguments and um, a lot of fighting, something very petty that was going on. Uh, so you needed to actually move away from it. And now you are getting over all of that. You are changing your focus as well over there. This is the five of cups. So where you were extremely depressed and upset about having lost that relationship, it seems like you are now making plans for the future and you are changing your focus. And it seems like, you know, you've got that trust card immediately following it. By changing your focus, you are managing to break yourself free from all the past things that held you in check. Now, you've got uh, the eight of um, pentacles over there, and uh, you've got uh, the five of swords there. So the eight of pentacles says dedicated effort. So if a new relationship presents itself to you, you, you will need to work on it. You will need to focus on it. And it's going, you're going to have to give it some time and attention and nurture it, really, uh, for that to come in and for you to uh, be able to flourish in it. So if you are in a relationship already, you might need to put in that extra effort uh, in order for it to succeed uh, and, you know, so that it doesn't break down. So everything needs a plan and everything needs effort. Uh, things don't happen quite uh, by chance. You always have to focus on something. So you will need to focus on that relationship in order for it to be, um, you know, something that works out. Um, you've got the win or lose card. So, you know, if you are in a relationship at the moment, you could be having problems. There could be power struggles that are going on. There could be, uh, you know, um, a lot of control issues that are happening over there. You could also, well, even be going through a, a divorce situation. So this might be that you are in a relationship. Maybe you want to cut ties with that relationship. Uh, if you want that relationship to work, you're going to have to work on it. Uh, because there's a lot of uh, upset, discontent that is going on over there in it. Maybe you are feeling very, very trapped within a relationship. If you have no relationship or if you, are, you want to start a brand new relationship, you need to take that leap of faith um, you know, and break free from the things that are keeping you bound. And if a new relationship does come in for you, you're going to have to put in that effort as well and make sure you're clearing up communication with this particular person uh, that you are, in a, you are going to form a relationship with. So be very upfront about what you feel and what you say and don't allow people to take advantage of you as well. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to use the Ludi Lescott tarot for the main read. Okay. 
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the star card coming in over there. So you're trying to get rid of all those negative emotions that you have been feeling. And you're trying to get on top of things uh, as well. You are seeking divine guidance. It looks like you are praying about it. And you are doing it, you know, with a lot of hope. There's a lot of guidance that will be coming in for you. So somebody's going to be there to give you advice or you even will get spiritual insights that come in with the star card. This is also healing after gone, going through a lot of problems and a lot of trauma as well. So that's uh, what it is at the moment. You're in a phase of healing and getting some new insights. So you've got the Seven of Cups over there and you've got the Chariot card here. So you are moving away from that difficult relationship. Uh, you can see this woman's at the back of the Chariot over there and she's been driven away. Uh, so you have considered all your options and it, you've decided to actually let it go and, uh, you know, take charge and move away. You can see the roses are falling over there. So you've, it seems like you've been let down quite badly. And maybe this is also a home move. So you've had to actually even move home as well with this. But it seems like you turned your back on that relationship now. Maybe it was something that was very uh, nurturing. Maybe you felt it was nurturing, but it didn't serve you. And you, it seems like you've walked away from it. You're now considering all your options. And you're doing a lot of self-reflection as well. Maybe you're also thinking a lot about the past. You've got that seven of cups over here. And you've got this man in the mirror there. So this is about thinking about the past a lot, uh, you know, feeling very lonely, feeling very isolated over there, and feeling very despondent. So it seems like, you know, whatever illusion you had about that relationship was not what it turned out to be. So you, what you thought it was, was not uh, the truth, because this is a reflection. And maybe that particular partner didn't stand up uh, to whatever your, or didn't meet your needs. And maybe this is the reason why this particular relationship has ended and you've had to move away from it. But you're very, very upset about it. You can see she's sitting and crying over there and spending, you know, she's all by herself and crying. And um, maybe you're even thinking about reconciling. There's a skeleton over there um, in the background over there. So this relationship seems to be at an end. It seems like, you know, you used all your strategy and it still didn't work out over there. Uh, and, you know, it's time for you to um, let go of those negative negative emotions and start making some new plans for the future but you are definitely moving on with that chariot card now you've got the five of cups so this is about uh, being let down uh, and uh, feeling very despondent and crying over things that have happened in the past uh, so this is the five of cups you can see this cup is turned over and the man is in shadow there there's just a shadow there so that relationship seems to have gone and you're getting over it right now so it's not a, a breakup that happened uh, you know now it seems to have happened a, a while ago but you're still uh, haven't gotten over it yet and that's been going on in the last year it seems like you've reached a point where you don't want to face, uh, you know, making a choice. So you, you need to cut that re that those negative thoughts out of your mind with this two of swords. Uh, but you're holding back. You're still clinging a lot to it. Uh, you need to take the emotions out of it. Uh, maybe you're still even dealing with legal issues uh, with regards to that particular relationship. But there's some kind of decision that needs to be made. Or maybe you're waiting for a decision to be made. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you yourself haven't um, uh, taken um, a stance. You haven't made that decision yet. You're still holding back, making that important decision about letting go and severing that past. So you've got um, that queen of uh, swords over there, and you can see her hands are empty. The sword is lying on the ground over there, and she's sitting alone in this chair, um, you know. And there's a lot of clouds in the background over there. So you're still being very despondent, very, very... Um, disempowered really in this particular situation as though you have nothing uh, in your hand and you know you there's a breakdown of communication between you and this particular person that you're dealing with this could also be that you are waiting for that legal decision to come in as well if you have gone through a divorce but right now you're feeling very much at a, lo at a loss very lonely and uh, you know very very hurt as well with that queen of swords that's on your mind so going into the future, you've got the Sun card over here. So this is new enlightenment coming in. So whatever illusions you had, they're all going to be, you know, it's shattering. This uh, stained glass window is shattering and it's allowing the real sunlight to come in. So clarity is coming in for you, um, you know, and you will get, uh, you, 
closure maybe in this particular situation, some information coming to light, and uh, you know you starting to see uh, things from a different perspective as well, making a new plan for the future as well because of this information that is coming in. Now the sun card brings in success, so where there's been darkness, it um, the light shines off the sun shines there. It brings that clarity, but it also brings new hope, and uh, it also starts bringing in success. So you're moving out of that feeling about of depression, and you will start, um, you know, feeling better. Um, and maybe this is also time for you to go and take a holiday as well, and, you know, to a warmer country, get some sunshine, um, you know, see things from a different perspective, and, uh, you know, uh, be grateful for everything that you've gone through. So this is looking at the situation and looking at it with different eyes, standing back and looking at it with different eyes, and, you know, all illusions are being shattered now. You must see it for what it really was. Um, Okay, so you've got the death card over there. So this is about uh, letting go. So this is making a clean break with that particular situation and moving on, laying that relationship to rest and walking away from it. So you may have gotten some communication from this particular person, but this is a relationship that is not serving you. It's important for you to actually move away from it, if it's physically or even um you know, just emotionally moving away from it and setting up your own space is very important. So uh, this cycle is now ended. There seems to have been a lot of drama and fighting going on. There seems a lot of battle in the background over there. And there's a lot of gravestones as well. So, uh, you know, this is a relationship that is quite dead in the water and something that is not worth resurrecting as well. You need to make uh, have a clean break from it. Um, you've got the Three of Cups coming in over here, so there's a lot of uh, support or friendships coming in for you here. Uh, you can see she's sitting on this tiled floor, which is talking about, you know, using your strategy as well. But it looks like, you know, there might be some emotional connections that you are going to be making, some new emotional connections. And you need to get out there, put yourself out there, and socialize quite a bit more. Uh, these uh, offers are coming in with this Three of Cups, so it needs for you. You, it means that you need to get out there. You need to uh, go out with friends. You need to lighten the mood. Go and have some fun, really. Uh, now, what you want is you want a relationship. You've got that two of cups over there. So you are trying to manifest a relationship. You are hoping that that comes in, and that's in your hopes and fears. So the going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the six of wands over here, the ten of swords, and uh, the six of cups. So the Six of Wands is, you know, getting up uh, from uh, that situation and being victorious, uh, you know, after facing a lot of adversity and a lot of problems, uh, it looks like, you know, you are coming out of it. Uh, there's, there looks, it looks like there was a lot of support for you as well and a lot of people admiring you as well uh, for you having gone through that difficult situation. But it looks like you are recovering from it. You're getting your strength back as well. The situation is finished and done with. So you've got the death card over here and you've got the ten of swords. So these are both almost the same cards, really. Uh, you know, this uh, uh, situation it has got to be buried. You've got to let go of it. You cannot resurrect this particular re relationship. It is finished and over. It is completely lost to you. Um, you know, it's no point even pursuing it. It's now time for you to change your focus and move forward. It was a, you know, it's a great loss to you. Uh, you know, this relationship could have ended, this could have been, you know, physical death, or it could have been an emotional death of that relationship, but it is done with now, and it's now time for you to change your focus, there's nothing you can do, there's no use sitting there and being regretful of it, uh, it's now time for you to take what is left and, uh, you know, uh, move on. And you've got uh, the Six of Cups over there. So this is something brand new coming. You've got this child here, and there's a new offer coming in over there with that Six of Cups. But also, uh, you know, this is a person that uh, you could be meeting somebody new that comes in from your past, so somebody from your childhood uh, that you used to know coming in, and, uh, you know, you reconnecting with this particular person. Um, so that could be well coming in for you over there, uh, a resurrection of an old relationship coming in. Okay, whatever this relationship that comes in, it's going to be quite a good one. You connect on a, you know, you could be connecting with this person on a very childlike, uh, a very innocent kind of uh, connection that goes on. And that is something that, uh, you know, you will um, be able to grow together in. Now you've got the Queen of Raphael over here, which is the Queen of Cups. This is a healing card. So follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So the Queen of Raphael is, you know, let go of that 
uh, negative emotions. This is a brand new cycle. You've got the new moon over here, and you need to follow your heart. So if a new relationship presents itself to you, or even a resurrection of an old relationship, uh, you need to go with it. And it's going to be a pretty healing relationship. And you've got the 10 of uh, Gabriel over here, which is the 10 of Raj, which says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too hard and trying too hard to please others. So you might be focused too much on your work, um, but also that relationship that you were had, uh, there was a lot of burdens, there was a lot of responsibilities. You took a lot of um, those responsibilities in that relationship. Maybe you were the one doing all the hard work in the relationship, but that is now over and done with, and the universe has set you free from those, so it's time for you to uh, you know, abandon all those rods, abandon all those uh, feelings, all the stresses, all the fighting that went on, abandon the thoughts of that, and move forward. You've got the Nine of Gabriel over here, which says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibilities. So it looks like there might be a relationship coming in for you, but you need to hang in there. Just wait. Uh, you know, things are going to come your way. And, you know, if there is, you're carrying any of those old feelings and old hurts, you need to heal from it and let it go. Uh, because, you know, it seems like maybe this person used you uh, and didn't uh, give you back what you put into that relationship. So it's time for you to now let go, finish off with that, and start moving forward. And get yourself out there. Make some friends and go out there and, go and have some fun. So I hope that this, relation, uh, this reading has uh, resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.